This week, the Cherry Blossom biome was confirmed to be the last major feature announcement for 1.20. However, it's not the last feature coming in this update because as the B-Chat mentions, they keep talking about a secret library in the news release articles and I'm wondering if the new room in the Desert Temple would eventually hold chiseled bookshelves and books. This is a good theory, but I actually don't think that this new room is going to be a library. It just doesn't seem to fit right to me. Instead, I imagine other structures will be updated, not only to add suspicious sand or some equivalent for archaeology, but also to add the secret library as a room underneath all of those. Given this hidden desert temple room was added without a mention on the changelog, I wouldn't be surprised to learn if a library literally described as secret would come in much the same way, and I like that as a way to improve older structures or even add new ones. Uh, do it by stealth at first and see how that goes. Speaking of doing things by stealth, uh, the dude 406 also says they're expecting at least one more sniffer flower given the Roger Badgerman leak. Here is the controversial thing about the sniffer. They did say the sniffer will find plants in the ground. However, five torch flowers is technically five plants, so it is already correct. However, Roger Badgerman did leak this image of what appeared to be sniffer flowers early on in the week, and that is not a torch flower. So it could be that we see more flowers for the sniffer, or it could be, uh, as Sparkbag suggests, that the leaked sniffer flowers were a way of sniffing out who's leaking. Like, if it got there, they know who did it. This is something that lots of major companies do that are scared of leaks, actually distributing slightly different versions of the finished project, and then you will know for sure that only one person who got that version of the sniffer flowers actually leaked the final thing. This is something that is possible and would be very funny if they actually did it, but I do think it's more likely, given Roger Badgerman's successful history, uh, that he is in fact leaking things correctly, and I also think that something interesting is these leaks really are doing a good job of promoting Minecraft features. People love the idea of hidden or forbidden knowledge. This is something that people love to share when you know something you're not really meant to, and so wouldn't it be a clever way to promote Minecraft updates? I'm not saying it's necessarily true that they make this information themselves, I'm just saying that you would expect them not to be that stressed out about it, unless it's something major they have a big announcement trailer for, and even in that case where Roger Badgerman drops something absolutely huge, it would have to be a huge account and be the sort of thing that would ruin the game for most of the community. Most people who keep up to date on Minecraft just see the occasional trailer, maybe just before an update comes out, and go, huh, isn't that cool? So in a way, this is good marketing, maybe, or maybe it's terrible. I mean, I'm going to be honest, I don't work for marketing at Mojang. They might be freaking out right now, desperately trying to catch him, and this might have been the first proof that they did. I do think there's a decent chance these are extra sniffer flowers, but I also think there's a chance that they were probably uh, old sniffer flower designs, which aren't in the final version, which is kind of ridiculous to me, because we got one sniffer flower called the torch flower, and to answer a question a lot of you have had, but here it comes from Geek Boy, uh, does the torch flower give off a light level? Somehow the answer to that question is no. I am really shocked that there is a brand new flower, which is great because the seeds you can use for sniffers, you can breed them with those. Uh, it's great because you can get orange dye from it, but it's called a torch flower and looks like this and provides no light and I think that's a little bit of a mistake because it does look great. It is a really interesting design and you can say it kind of looks like a torch, but couldn't it look so much better? Speaking of looking better, Amazing Dog says this update started as an okay that's cool update and it's now an I can't wait till this comes out update. And that is something I've been hearing from a lot of people. The first wave of hype was like, okay, what are we seeing here? Uh, the second wave of hype was in the features that came out without being announced. The armor trims are something that got people really crazy, but now seeing three major sets of features in one week has really got a lot of people much more excited. Here's the question though, is this the sort of hype that stays or will the excitement have already died down for the Cherry Grove biome as an example? Because it was exciting because it was brand new, but does it have holding power? Personally, I think it looks pretty enough that it probably does. Personally, I'm going to be much more excited for this, but will the community at whole be like, yeah, we've seen this for months now, we don't care about it in the base game? Because there is this weird community reaction that even though 90% of Minecraft players won't see any of these features till the reveal trailer, a lot of people already made up their minds about things from the snapshot process. It's a really interesting uh, question about this biome with its uh, fun pink flowers and its uh, interesting new effects and its leaves, by the way, which go Go Ilas Nemeth asks, how do the new leaves look like with the other graphic setting? And so this is one of the mistakes I made when showing off the Cherry Grove initially for that first video. Uh, I didn't realize, but because Java Edition runs so badly on my laptop, I've set a lot of settings down. I'm on 10 chunks of render distance. I have fast graphic settings and I can barely get 30 FPS. Medium sound edition, I'm just saying, not very good for performance as it turns out. Um, but yeah, the interesting thing is that it looks like this when you're on fast and it looks like this when you're on fancy. It is a big difference and it's an important difference because 
most people are playing Minecraft Bedrock, where the better leafs are on by default, and also most people playing Minecraft Java have the fancy setting, but if you want to see what pink leafs look like without any of the transparency, now you know. Speaking of things that now you know, Brave Conscript says making desert wells more OP than they already are, devs are feeling daring this year. And it's true, this might be the biggest buff to an already OP feature since we took diamond armor and turned it into neverite armor. I think it is absolutely wild to say that the desert well needs more uses, but Mojang are really making one structure so much better than all the others, and it's clearly the desert well. Why go to any other structure in Minecraft when you have water in the desert and also now the potential chance to find all these extra things? By the way, just as a slight aside to make this actually an informative comment rather than just memeing about desert wells, did you know Suspicious Sand has a slightly different drop table depending on where you find that Suspicious Sand? So to balance out the desert well being so much more OP than the desert pyramid, the desert well's uh, loop drops look like this. You've got the arm arms up pottery shard and sometimes some emeralds, and sometimes when you dig Suspicious Sand you find Suspicious Stew, which is pretty funny, but if you go to a desert temple you'll find three different pottery shards as well as potential for diamonds, TNT, and gunpowder. It is actually pretty nuts when you look at the drop table so far. It's definitely going to be changed, and there's definitely going to be more places that we find suspicious sand, because archaeology, as they mentioned, is going to be changing. But still, you can see how they realized the desert well was OP, and they adjusted that for their loot tables. And uh, yeah, actually, this is something that I think is good, because right now, having four pottery shards is a bit bland. I hope we get a brand new place you can find these. I don't know where that would be, underground or something like that. Uh, I am incredibly curious about where uh, archaeology goes from here, or if it even is planned for this update, if they're just going to be fine with having a base mechanic that they then expand upon later, we're going to have to find out. Speaking of things we're going to have to find out, uh, that brings me very nicely into my next question. Can you silk touch suspicious sand in bedrock? And apparently the answer is no, which is surprising to me. I feel like there are very few blocks you can't silk touch, and now we know suspicious sand is one of them. Very suspicious, if you ask me, and very odd in a lot of other ways, but still, now you know. With that said, let's move into the next question. By the way, I saw this meme recently because we have snowy as snow and we have sandy as sand, and so the question here is asked like, stony as stone is coming next? And here's the dumb thing about this meme. Didn't you know they added stony as stone in 1.17? Deep Slate is literally stone below stone. It is stone that is harder to mine but can still be used as stone. We have stony as stone already, and that means what we really need next is wetter water, which I'm just saying. I'll start the petition to get that coming next time. Honestly, if we gave wetter water to the desert well, then people would have even more reasons to go there, right? Speaking of more reasons to go somewhere, how can they be adding a cherry grave and cherry trees? <laughs> I'm sure they meant cherry grove, but you know what? Cherry grave, uh, I'm gonna, I'm officially gonna dig one of those right now. Anyway, they're questioning why we don't have an actual cherry item when there is a similar mechanic, which is apples. Well, the thing about oak trees dropping apples and being really the only fruit that you get from trees in the game is that most people don't really use the apple path, the oak tree. Sure, there is a great need to use them when you're making golden apples and you can theoretically do some trading nonsense. I think you actually can only buy them, not sell them. Uh, but ultimately, most people don't really care about apples as a whole because they're not a great food and they don't really do much. And that's with the golden apple version, you could add cherries to the game, but how many people would go to the cherry grave biome just to find one of these? I mean, the answer, probably not too many. By the way, Damien asks, I, or they say, I hope I can ensure, you know, is this even Q&A Saturday if I'm just taking questions that aren't questions? Am I even answering this question when they say, I hope I can enchant the brush of mending and breaking an efficiency like shears? I'm going to answer that by saying, well, you can't. I checked this out, and as you can see on Minecraft Bedrock, even when in creative, you can't apply any enchanted book, mending, unbreaking, or efficiency to it, and even if you use the slash enchant command, it literally doesn't think the brush is capable of being enchanted. I on, on the Java edition, on the other hand, you can use mending and unbreaking, but you can't use efficiency, and so this is something they're gonna have to work out, like a parity solution for. I think all three of those should work in the end game, because ultimately, if you can put efficiency on your shears, if I can put unbreaking and mending on my shields and my, my, my fishing rods with fungus on the end, then I should be able to do the same for my brushes. But that's something we'll have to wait and see about. 
Speaking of things we'll have to see, Nessie a coward says, Well, every time I hear Toy Cat, he sounds more and more American. That's an absolutely ridiculous thing to say. I think y'all be finding. I do not say any American words because I am from the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland. I love fish and chips and beans on toast. And I love to fly the British Airways to get over to the London where I live. I mean, I don't know where this slander comes from. And honestly, Honestly, one of the biggest problems of living in the United States for some portion of the year because I spend about a third of my time over here a lot of people seem to think that I have some Americanisms in my accent when I go back to my home in England and this is a big problem because I might be referring to the pavement on the side of the road and I'll call it the sidewalk or sometimes vice versa I'll come to the United States and call it the pavement using the wrong words for situations sure is a mighty problem and I don't know how anyone thinks I sound any amount American and uh, so yeah I, uh, that was an American pretending to be British. I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, but I also hope you enjoyed this video more broadly. I am really excited to see where archaeology goes as a system. I think the Cherry Grove is one of those biomes that they could make better. It's like fun enough by itself. But the archaeology system is the one they've said specifically. There is more coming and we just don't know precisely what. Um, there's a lot of other big questions around parity. There's a lot of other big questions um, around, you know, the sniffer and his plants and his flowers. Uh, but we're going to be finding out about those and I'll let you know as soon as I do. Because like I said, it's one of the things I care a lot about. Even if I'm in a very weird canyon at the time, I'll let you know the best I can about the latest Minecraft news. And so thank you for choosing to watch this video. Thank you for subscribing to the channel. Perhaps some notifications turned on. Uh, I appreciate it a lot. And I'll see you all in the next one, you lot. I said fot originally, but I don't want to call you that internet. You're not, you're not that hoe over there, unless you're adorable hoe. In which case, you might be that hoe way over there. But anyway, thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.